Taurus, how you doing? Let's see what's going to pop in on my Tauruses this week. Ocho is taking over the readings, okay, from now on. And my gypsy comes in from time to time. My ancestors could walk in whenever she wants. So let's see what's going to pop in with Taurus here. What is the aura energy for Taurus? And I feel like you wanted to start a brand new beginning here and something went wrong here with the three of cups in reverse. I feel like you were headed to a romance or some type of thing like that. There's a lot of things that are hidden here. There's a lot of secrets that are hidden here. There's a lot of things that are going on here in the background. Probably where you don't even know. Or you might know. But I feel like, you know, you have a lot of eyes watching you right now. I feel like you have, you know, a lot of people watching you. A lot of people like lurking on you stalking you for some reason there's somebody here that's stalking you very hard and it might be a person that's trying to like you know um how is she saying this that i'll wait that like like do a circle backwards on you i don't know why she said that but she's saying it for a reason there's like somebody that wants to do a circle backwards on you and take you another way like another route I feel like, you know, you've been trying to go out, you've been trying to manifest things, you've been trying to date, you've been trying to do things for yourself, but something is not going right. Every time you try to do something or manifest something or try to date or even try to get out there on the scenes, you feel me? It's like something is wrong. Something is stopping here. There's a lot of secrets here. There's a lot of like unloyalty here. I feel like there's a person you had in your past that was loyal but then became unloyal or something's going on with a person right now that's not loyal around you. But I feel like they switch. I'm, I'm feeling like an energy that switches from good to bad, from bad to good. I don't know what that's meaning, what she's saying. Porque cambian de bien pa mal, de bien pa mal. It's like an energy that switches from bad to good, good to bad. So... Whoever you're dealing with here or whoever you were dealing with, it could even be family members, it could be friends, it could be acquaintances, it could be a person you're dealing with. But I feel like somebody here is trying to take your happiness away for some reason. I don't know why. Hold on, let me fix the cards because I don't know why. These came out of reverse. But she's telling me like, you know, somebody here has a lot of secrets. Somebody here, you know, has been holding back from something here. And I feel like there's a spiritual guide in here. Or a spirit is it, no, it's not a spiritual guy. She's telling me it's a past loved one in here that's been looking at everything that's going on here and they're not understanding. You know, they're trying to give you a message. The tower card is coming out on the bottom of the deck. There might be chaos going on in your life right now, or there might be chaos that's coming into your life. So be careful, Taurus, is who you meet, who you bring into your energy, or who you're dealing with, because I feel like somebody here caused so many towers around you. They're very betrayal. It's like a betrayal energy that I'm picking up here. That as that they have their eyes on you a lot. Like this person don't want you to go out, don't want you to manifest, don't want you to meet people, don't want you to celebrate, don't want you to do nothing. But in your face, they tell you, yes, go do it. Go celebrate, go have a good time. You feel me? Go get somebody, go meet somebody, do what you need to do. You feel me? But at the end, it's like they switch to loyalty. To like a dark energy, you feel me? And they've, they're have they holding a lot of secrets. You feel me with the moon card here? It's like a lot of secrets are being here in the background. But you're going to find out about these secrets. Because there's somebody here that's being very unloyal to you. And it could be somebody you were dealing with. So let me see. Oh, Chum, what else is here for Taurus? I feel like somebody here is going to walk away. Look, the tower just landed on my hand as I was shuffling. What else? And the double. Oh, my God. Yeah, listen, I feel like, you know, I don't know, but I feel like these secrets, there's a lot of hidden secrets here. And what she's telling me is, aquí no se puede tocar a nadie. Like, she's telling me here, by the way she said that, 
I don't know who you're dealing with or who you were dealing with or who is coming into your energy or who is projecting around you. But she's telling me, like, nobody can be touched here. <sighs> Taurus, I don't know if you're dealing with a person right now or you left a person and you saw all the fuckery in this person. You saw the drama, the chaos, the, the fighting, you know. The secrets, the lies, you know, the manipulation. But there's somebody here. Because she just said, aquí no se toca a nadie. Like, somebody can't be touched here. Like, I feel like there was, like, either touching somebody or sexual harassment. Or somebody got violated in that type of way. Like, you know what I mean? You feel me? Like... Somebody didn't want to do something and somebody forced themselves upon it or somebody's just like addicted because, you know, with the devil card coming out, she's telling me there's a lot of temptation here, a lot of temptation here with a lot of bad things, but she's pointing out like, you know, touching. So if somebody here touched you in the wrong way or somebody here tries to touch you or tries to like, you know, oh my gosh, she's getting me so much. Somebody here is worried a lot about a situation that happened here. Somebody here is into their feelings. Somebody here is hurt. Somebody here, I feel like somebody here, what she's telling me, either got sexually harassed, got violated in some type of way, got sexually molested. I didn't want to say it, but I have to say it. But something's going on here. There's a very dark energy around you, Taurus. you got to be very careful who you're dealing with, who you bring into your energy. It might be the person you were with, but it could be acquaintances, family, friends. It doesn't matter. But there's a lot of secrets here hidden. They're going to come to the light. They're going to come to the light. And I feel like there's a guide here. Not a guide. I keep on saying guide, but there could be a guide of yours here. But there's a family member on the other side here, and it's a woman with long hair that parts it in the middle. Very thin, petite woman that is trying to give a message here of a problem that's going to happen with a person that is a problem, a person that's very dark, a person that only deals with darkness. They might portray themselves to be a person that is in the light and a person that cares for you, a person that wanted to be with you, a person that wanted to boot with you, whatever it is. But this person is very dark and wherever they go and whatever they do and whoever's, you know, comes across this person, there's a problem. There's always a problem with this person. You feel me? Like, you know, when the devil energy comes in, there's addictions, there's drugs, there's alcohol, there's porn addictions, there's a lot of shit, but she's pointing out a lot of sexual harassment here. And somebody here got sexually harassed. Somebody here got hurt really bad. You know, Taurus, I don't know who you're dealing with or who you were dealing with, or if this is a Taurus, I didn't even shuffle when she just threw this, threw this down. But... You know, there's a lot of temptation here. When it comes to sex, you know, a lot of things. Sex, porn, I'm seeing um, drugs. I'm seeing a lot of chaotic energy. I'm seeing manipulation. I'm seeing overthinking. I'm seeing, you know, thinking bad things, getting into a dark energy out of nowhere, and then popping out and like, what the fuck? Why am I in that in that in that dark energy? Is what she's telling me. Like she's telling me, ayo entran y salen. Like you go into a dark energy, and it's like, what the fuck? When you get out of it, and then you go back into a good energy. You feel me? So whatever you're surrounding yourself with, it could be at work, it could be friends, it could be family it could be acquaintances but there's a there's a, a past loved one here trying to um give you some type of sign here it might be the person you were dealing with i feel like whoever you were dealing with here did not let you go out did not let you do your own thing did not let you vibe did not you let you go all your friends they have full control over you or you had full control over him oh him i was gonna say him i don't know why i would say him maybe it's a him but it could be him or her it could be female or, or male but somebody here, you know, it was either you that had control on somebody or somebody had control here. But there was a lot of, lot of things here that you need to know and they're going to come out. And when they come out, it's going to cause a whole motherfucking chaos here. It's going to cause a big problem here. There's somebody here that has a lot of anger issues that burst in angers 
out of nowhere, a person that even with their anger that they burst out, they lock themselves up for days. They don't want to talk to nobody. They're in depression mode. You know, they're like in a very, very low vibrational dark energy here. This is not good. No tune. Like somebody here. Whoever you were dealing with, whoever you got in your energy does not want you to move forward. It's darkness all around you here, Taurus. Hold on a minute. And you know what? Like she's telling me, you go in and out of the darkness. Entran y salen, entran y salen, tan confundido. Like you feel confused at times, Taurus. It's like she's telling me, you go into the light and you feel good for a moment. And you're doing your things and then boom. I don't know where it's like you end up in a low vibrational energy and you're feeling like, what the fuck? And you're feeling all kind of weird things around you. It's this person, this person you were dealing with, whoever's around you, but they are very dark, very dark energy. It's like a dark, it's like a, oh my God. It's like a, a dark night of the souls here. Whoever the hell you're dealing with is in the dark night of the souls. Hold on a minute. Ochum. What else is here for Taurus? Oh my God. On the fence. Like somebody here tried, you know, coming out on the fence. You know, I really don't read the cards, but I'm reading them. Somebody here left you out on the cold. Somebody here left you out on the cold. Somebody here, you know, you were trying to work with. I mean, I feel like somebody here fell in love with somebody. It could have been you. It could have been another person. But I feel like it didn't work out. There was too many secrets. There was things going on that somebody was not telling nobody. Somebody was not being loyal here to somebody here. Somebody was only in a dark energy and a controlling energy. And an energy that was not good for somebody here. You feel me? Like, there was a lot of problems here with a connection here that went wrong. A lot of temptation, a lot of, like, addictions, a lot of controlling, a lot of, like, I do what you want, you feel me? A lot of fights, a lot of arguments, you know, a lot of controlling is what I'm picking up here. So, who you, whoever you're dealing with here, or whoever you were dealing with, here, um, Taurus, I was going to say Leo for some reason. Who are, oh, let me see, Sagittarius, Cancer, you got, um, Pisces. Capricorn and Gemini. Yeah, because I'll forget if I don't say it. But somebody here left you out on the cold. Somebody here did, wanna, did not want to commit. Somebody here moved on or you left somebody here because there was this, this was not working. Somebody was not working here. But I'm seeing somebody else manifesting here. Some type of magic when it comes to Wicca, when it comes to candles, when it comes to like... You know, manifesting things at home. It's not even going to a person and manifesting. To, it could be. Somebody could be going to a person. You feel me? Like, you can go to a psychic. You can go to a, a high priestess, a high priest, and get jobs done. For, but I feel like somebody here intentionally, intentionally did something here very dark to keep you away from somebody. You feel me? But I feel like you're in the dark most of the time, more than the light. It might be because of all the shit you've gone through and all this control issue that I'm seeing here. You know, the Palace of Wands is in the bottom of the deck. A lot of fights in a home, a lot of darkness in a home, a lot of, like, loneliness in a home, a lot of, like, you know, even if you're surrounded by a thousand people, you feel alone is what I feel. I feel like, you know, you need support. I feel like you need a support group. She's telling me, booking. Oh, my God. Hold on. They're knocking. My bad. You know... Um, whatever went on here with a person, something was manifested here to keep you away from this person. And, you know, somebody here, how that, somebody here, for some energy that I'm picking up, they just didn't want to commit. They didn't want to be here. They didn't want to commit. They jumped over to somewhere, to somewhere else. You feel me? Like, I feel like they had something going on somewhere else. And that's where they jumped over to. Let me see what else. The Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This is not good. Taurus. The Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus, whatever you're surrounding yourself with, whoever this person is, they're manifesting a lot of things. And I'm telling you, there's magic done here. Whatever y'all want to call it. Magic, voodoo, witchcraft. I call it voodoo. But it's, you know, it's witchcraft for me. Brujeria. But there's somebody manifesting something here in their home they could even manifest it with their mind but there's going to be loss of money here 
or there was a lot of loss of money here. But there's going to be a lot of loss of money here in a situation here that's going to take you down for some reason. You need to remove that. There's something going on here where you were standing like that, like, you know, an authority, not an authority, but you were standing in a moment in time where like you had it all. You were moving forward. You know, I felt like you wanted to do a lot of things in different ways when it comes to business, abundance and things like that. Everything has stopped here for some reason. Somebody here is very betrayal. I mean, betray. Oh God, here we go, getting stuck. Somebody here has been very, very deceiving to you. They betrayed you a lot, and they're still betraying you. Whoever this is, let me see. Oh, Chum. What else is going on here with Taurus? Like, listen, this came out on the fence. The King of Cups. It's like you want love, Taurus. You want to be, like, look on the fence. You want to jump over to love. You want love. You want to be loved. You feel me? You want to jump over. You want to meet people. You want to meet a new person. You want to date. You want to chill. You know, you want to have a connection with somebody. But it's like somebody here is very tired. It's like it's the last straw is what I'm hearing. You feel me? Like, but somebody here might be coming into your energy and might be offering you something, but with all this chaos going on around you, it's not going to happen. I feel like you're trying to love yourself more than anything. You're trying to fix things to jump over and fix yourself. I feel like you do want love. You do want a connection. You do want a person to be with you, you know, to accompany. But there's a problem here with somebody here. There's a lot of sexual harassment here, a lot of addictions here to like bad things when it comes to sexual things fetishes like a lot of things going there's a lot of things going on here and somebody here is gonna end up in jail she just told me she's telling me somebody here is going to jail somebody's getting locked up here for something they did here so whoever the fuck you were dealing with here um taurus if you moved on from this person that's the best thing you did it could be friends it could be a family member, whoever the fuck you're surrounding yourself with, that you see that, you know, there's a little thing that you're picking up, trust your intuition, because this person's only about drama, and they come out looking like they're the light, you feel me? This person pretends they love you. This person pretends like they want you to jump over and do things. Jump over, do what you need to do. Like find abundance, find a love. That's, they're wearing a mask. They're lying to you. They're very deceiving, whoever this is. Whoever this is. And you're going to have a loss of money. A big loss of money. So if you have money saved, if you're saving money, save all the money you can. Because I see a loss of money. Because somebody manifesting lost some money for you for some reason. Or you're going to um, have a problem at work because you you don't like your work, career-wise, whatever it is. Something's going on here where you're going to lose money. You could be losing your job. You could be moving to another job and think you have another job and then they say no, you feel me? Or something happened like that or you lost your job. But something here is going to give you a loss of money. While you're trying to move forward and you're trying to do yourself. While you're trying to bring abundance to your life. While you're trying to find love. While you're trying to find somebody that's in your own level. You feel me? But somebody here is interrupting you very severely. Let me see. Ochoon. What is coming towards um, Taurus's way? What is coming towards Taurus's way? In this situation. Strength. You need strength. Taurus, you need to go into your inner strength. Because you got somebody coming in here. Or you have somebody around you that's trying to take your strength away. They're trying to overpower you. They're trying to take your inner strength away. You feel me? Like, I feel like this person, whoever's manifesting all these things and all these you know, bad things that you, in your mind, when you lay down sometimes and picking it up, it's like you think about these crazy things, like, what the fuck? This person's getting into your mind. They're trying to take your strength away. It's like, whatever they tell you to do, at some point, is like what you were doing. It's like you couldn't do nothing on your own. This person's watching you very, very much, my God. I just seen the eyes, and the eyes are very big, and like, 
eyes that are deceiving. I just see it in my mind's eye. I saw some big eyes. Very deceiving. Like, I don't know. I even saw a tear in those eyes. And I don't know what the tear means. It may be a teardrop or something that somebody has tattooed, but it wasn't what I seen. But it could be. But I saw a tear in that eye. Somebody here has, I don't know who it is that I'm picking up here, but some of you Tauruses, or somebody here specifically has their um, mind's eye closed. It's like it's trying to open, but it's closed. So somebody here is not seeing clearly. When it comes to spiritual stuff, you're not seeing clearly. I see like an eye, you're like two eyes, like a person, and then I see the middle like black. It's like it's fogged up, it's blocked, it's closed. I don't know why she's telling me that, but I'm seeing it. She's showing it to me. But you need inner strength. You need power to get back into your power because somebody has overtaken your power in some type of way. Or they took your overpower. Your, your um, power away at some point and you couldn't be able to move. But I see a lot of loss of money here. Let me see. What, you mean? what is coming towards Paris? Where'd it go? This came out on the fence. The ace, my God. This came out in reverse. Um, Taurus, I'm not liking this. You're trying to move forward. You're trying to love. You're trying to find love. You feel me? But you're going to have a really big loss of money. The Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody here is manifesting not only for you not to move forward, for you to stay stuck, not find love, for you to do, you know, things their way. But they're also, like, trying to take, you know, manifesting loss of money here for you. You're going to have a big loss of money. I ain't even going to sugarcoat it. So whoever I'm picking up on here, and it's not every Taurus. Remember, guys, I could be picking on Taurus. I could be picking up on the cross watcher. I could be picking up on the person you were dealing with or that you're dealing with or a third party. It don't matter. But I see Taurus. You're going to have a big loss of money here. Save whatever money you got. Put your money away. Whatever it is that you got, save it up. Don't waste it on bullshit. Because I see loss of money here and it's being manifested by somebody here. It's like, they're looking at you like, you're fucked. And I'm taking everything from you. My God. It's like they're taking your power. They want to take your power away. Somebody here might, have, might live like next to a really big tree. Or there's like land where there's like a big tree. There might be like um, water. In a distance or something. I feel like there's a lot of plants here in a yard. I don't know why I'm seeing that. But I'm seeing a lot of plants. Flowers and like plants. And like things in the yard. But there's things that don't. Oh my god. I'm seeing like a yard. Or like a big land that somebody lives in. With like a lot of plants. But I'm seeing different things put in that yard I just can't picture it I don't know who you're dealing with here Taurus but you need to keep moving forward because whatever's going on here you need to like address that because there's a lot of chaotic things that happen here with somebody that you were trying to get to a person that you wanted to be with you feel me like there was a person you wanted to be with here and everything was manifested wrong there could be you could be jumping over for some of you Tauruses to a new commitment you feel me you know and you could be jumping over to a new job or things like that but I feel like with this energy here it doesn't matter she's telling me you need your inner power back you need your strength back you need to shine some light on on your strengths that's what she's saying 
a tu poder. She's saying, put light in your power because they're trying to take it from you. Who the fuck? You want to jump over and do a lot of new things. You want to manifest things. You feel me? But somebody here is stopping and they're stopping everything for you. So if you feel like you're stuck and you ain't moving forward, this person, whoever it is, is manifesting things and I feel like this person has an addiction. I feel like this person surrounds himself with people that have addictions, alcohol addictions, pills, you know, a lot of shit that I'm seeing here. And it's like their whole life is a chaos. You feel me? And it might be somebody you left and they're in a chaotic situation right now and they want to bring you down along with them. It could be anybody, but this person is living a chaotic life. You feel me? And you know, it's like they want to bring all that energy and have brought all the energy towards you. But there's a lot of control here. You can't even jump over to where you want to go. You're trying to manifest money here. You're trying to manifest money and love here. You're trying to jump over. They're stopping it for you. Somebody here is going through it really bad when it comes with money. You want to jump over. Even to love. And something is, everything goes wrong. Every time you find somebody, every time you meet somebody, every time you try to, like, be with somebody, something goes wrong. I feel like somebody here um, turned their back on you or something. You might have hit a connection here. And it's like there was a lot of secrets hidden here. They didn't tell you the truth. They lied the fuck. They tried to tell you, like, they were doing something and they didn't want that. And you were looking for this. You were trying to manifest love here. But I feel like jumping over, trying to find love here for some of y'all, you found somebody and I feel like you wanted a connection. You wanted passion with this person. You wanted to commit at some point with this person, but there was more passion and lust here. And I feel like this person just turned away. They turned away. Somebody's manifesting you really bad here, Taurus. You need to be very careful. There's a lot of um, spells done here. Witchcraft. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. There's a lot of motherfucking witchcraft done here. Let me see. Ochoom, is there any messages here for Taurus? Moving forward, what do they need to know? Ochoom, this is so fucked up. Let me see. This came out almost in reverse. And this came out in reverse. This came out <laughs> literally like this. They both came out in reverse. So I'm going to read them. This is forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Somebody here is not forgiving somebody. Somebody here does not believe in forgiveness. So if you dealt with somebody or you're dealing with somebody or somebody's in your energy or whatever it is, or they do something wrong to you, they're not going to forgive. They're not going to accept any apology. They're not going to be sorry. They don't give three fucks whoever this person is. They're a whole fuck up. This came out of reverse too. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. It came out of reverse. They're even trying to stop your friends, people that support you, people that love you, people that want to help you, people that want to support you, people that could make you, you know, give you advice, their opinion, whatever it is. They're stopping everything for you. These two cards came out of reverse. Did I take the signs? You could be dealing here with a Sagittarius, a Cancer, a Pisces, a Capricorn, another, a Gemini, a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, more Earth, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Leo, Libra, damn, like, I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, whoever this person is, is a severely disturbed, fucked up individual, because I'm sick, she keeps on telling me, like, sexual harassment, somebody is going to jail. So, if somebody did something to you, or to one of your family members, or if you got kids, whatever the case is, you need to look into that because somebody going to jail here. And somebody's not doing nothing about it, but there's somebody very worried here about somebody touching them. My God. Let me see. Is there any message here? Or oh, tune. For 
for Taurus to move forward with an advice. Is there any message here? Which one? For Taurus. Any message? There it is. Let me see. It says, imagine I'll, I'll want... Oh, God, I'm getting stuck. I'm so sorry. It says, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. So, like I said, you need to put light into everything around you. You need to imagine, and not even only imagine, you need to put, like, those unwanting thoughts, because it says it very clearly, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light. Those thoughts... These bad thoughts you're getting into out of nowhere. That you don't know what the fuck is going on. And then you're normal again. You need to put light around that. You know. You need to like create something around you with light. Put some light around it. Get some help. Because there's a lot of shit going on here. You know. Create new opportunities for your life. Move forward. Meet new people. You feel me? Get out of all these energies. Whoever this person is, get out of this that energy. Whoever whoever it was and you left them, that was the best thing you ever fucking did. You feel me? That was the best thing you ever did. But there's a person here that walked away that you tried to have something with. And they lied. And they just like walked away. Or somebody lied here about a connection here. She's telling me, I give you a mentira, I give you a She's telling me, somebody here lied about a connection. So somebody might have told you they were going into a connection or meeting somebody or being with somebody and it was all a lie. They were lying. Somebody was lying about meeting somebody or getting together with somebody. I don't know, I feel like there's a lot of like he say, she say here. Like, tell this person. I want you to tell this person is what she's telling me. She's telling me somebody here lied about having a connection with somebody so you can go back or somebody can go back and tell somebody because of jealousy or something. Who the fuck? Like, wow. You need to create new opportunities. You need to make things possible in your life. You need to move forward. Get your strength back. Put your power back in place. Shine some light on your fucking power and move forward. A lot of seekers are going to call you to the light. And when they come out, all chaos is going to break loose. Because you're going to see who this person is, what they're doing to you, and what they've done to you. It's going to come out. Man. Whoever this person is, they got a very deceiving look. Very deceiving look. I don't know about giving you a song card, but I'm still going to do it. So whatever song it is, if you haven't heard it, if you know the lyrics, if you do know the song, if you don't know the song, if you don't listen to that type of music... It don't matter. I haven't even started them. Like, I started them and I stopped because I've been working a lot. So, whatever it is, just open it up because you don't know what's going to come out in those songs. You know, it's a memory of the past. Memory when you were a child. Memories of family members. Good memories. Even memories of an old past person that you left and it's like, oh shit. You know, I remember that song. When I was that person. You know how sometimes you leave people and then 20 years later, like, damn. You know, I remember that. You know, I, damn, I want to say hi to that person. You feel me? You don't know. What comes out in these in these um, songs? Let me see. Oh, chill. What song is here for Taurus? Okay. Okay. So I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right. Iman. It's E A M O N. If I am, please correct me, people. I don't want you back. Okay. So somebody needs to hear that. You got Mary J. Blige featuring Drake, Mr. Wrong. Okay, so if you're if you're if if you're a man and you hear that song, just imagine it as Mrs. Wrong. You feel me? Because it doesn't matter around here. So let's see. This could be first, middle, last initial for you, this person, whoever is this. I don't know, because there's so much crazy shit going on here. Even the person, I don't know, whoever you're thinking about, even nicknames, it don't matter. Even this past loved one that you might think is coming in to give you these warnings because I strongly feel a past loved one and it's a woman. It could be a mother, but I'm picking up like an aunt. It's like an aunt. Or like a great aunt or something like a grandma. It could be a mother, but it's a, it's a woman. You have N here, which could also be a U. You have A here. You have another A. My God. You have another A. That's a lot of A's. 
You have an R. You have F. You have N, which could also be a Z. You have a straight I. You got an A, which could also be an R. You got a D. You got a T. You got an E. You got an O. You got another T. Let me see. Separate the doubles here. There's a lot of A's on this table. Very significant. And you got a V. Okay, so let's flip. You got three A's, so I'm going to flip these two A's and see what I can get you. Okay, so you got another N, which could also be a U. And you got a Y. Okay, and then you got another U over here, which is doubles already. And you got two T's, so I'm going to flip this and see what I can get you. You got an H, I, and you have a straight M here. So, um, Tauruses, man, I don't like this reading. I don't like the vibe. I don't like the energy. It's disturbing me. Okay, I'm going to wish you the best of luck. I love you all, and I'll see you later, my loves.